In this tutorial, I'm going to go over system operation for the Garmin G1000. Here we can see what the primary flight display looks like during normal operation, and similarly we can see the multifunction display. Now, if one of the displays were to go bad, the system should automatically switch over to reversionary mode on the remaining good display, and if it doesn't do that automatically, there's going to be a large red button on the bottom of the center console for the uh, communications uh, radio buttons. And we can simulate that here by going to reversionary mode. And then what we see is that we get kind of a combination of the two displays in one. We get the engine information here and only a small version of the moving map on the right bottom over here. Now, we could also have uh, failures that, are, that could occur and we can simulate that with the simulate failures button here. One of the things we can uh, that can possibly fail is the AHARS, which is the attitude heading and reference system. And so if we turn off the AHARS, what we'll see is that we lost our attitude information over here, and we also lost our heading information but we still have things like the moving map and the uh, air data. So we have the altitude and airspeed. So let's turn that back on real quick. We could also turn off the air data computer to simulate that failure. And here you can see now that we lost our airspeed, our outside air temperature, our altitude and our vertical speed. And keep in mind that this is, we lost all of these because in the last tutorial we saw what the systems were all these come from one system, which is the air data unit, and so that's why we get the failure for all these different uh, display items. So we can turn those back on, and we could also have a failure for the magnetometer. And if we do that, we can see we lost our heading information. And because we lost our heading information, we don't see synthetic vision anymore. And that's because, remember, synthetic vision is a picture of the outside world. Well, if you don't know which way you're pointing, how do you know how to orient if you're flying to or away from a mountain, for example? And so, we can also have multiple failures. So we could lose, for example, air data and the magnetometer. And so now you see magnetometer and air data failed, but we still have our attitude information. So you can go through the uh, simulate failures box over here and you can play with any combination and all the different permutations of failures to see what they would look like and just have an idea of what gets lost on the display. And last but not least, we have our soft key buttons down here and once you click on them, you'll see that it kind of turns gray and then once you click on it again, it goes back to black and white. And finally, once we power up the unit, it should take, on the average, about one minute for startup. And during that startup, a lot of these things, almost all of them will have red X's as the system initializes. And then once it's done, you should be ready to go. If it takes more than a minute to start up the G1000 and have all the uh, information become active, then you should shut down the uh, system, uh, turn the aircraft off, and have the G1000 serviced by a maintenance person uh, because there could be or there potentially is something wrong with your hardware. So that's all there is to it. It's really that simple.